So earlier last month, Dev2 and DigitalOcean announced this app platform hackathon, and I was like, yeah, I got to get on that. Um, so actually, Bobby was the one who let me know about the hackathon, and he messaged me and was like, hey, we should create something uh, for one of the categories. And I was like, yeah, that sounds good. So we decided to work on an app called Guild, and this is a simple project slash task management system for your company. With the COVID situation going on right now, uh, more people are working remote than ever before. And sometimes it's just good to know who's on shift, who's not on shift, and then also kind of just keep the company and uh, your guild in the loop about what everybody's working on. So we decided to create Guild, and you'll see a bit more of the features as I go through and launch the app on the DigitalOcean app platform. So let me go ahead and go over to the GitHub repo, and this is all publicly available. You can go to the README, and you can see here that we have a Deploy to DigitalOcean button. And you must be logged into DigitalOcean in order for this to work as well. So we'll come here, it's gonna say, what region do we want? We'll go ahead and just keep everything the same, and we'll click on Next. And then we have here a web service uh, with the app name, key, and these are just some variables that you're going to need for your Laravel app and for your Guild application. And then we also have a simple Postgres that we are booting up. So we can click on Next. And here we're just going to stick with the basic. And again, we can just say Launch Basic App. And now our application is being loaded on our new DigitalOcean server and it'll take just a few minutes for all of this to complete. So that only took a couple minutes and I went ahead and sped up the video just so you didn't have to sit here and watch the whole thing go through. Uh, but it took a couple minutes and then we landed here at this page and you can see that we have our live app or we have the URL that we can click on here. So we can go ahead and click on the URL and that will take us to the Guild installation page. So here we can go ahead and just click on let's do this and we can add some information about our company. And then on the next step, we need to add the manager's account. And then we'll click on finish to finish up the install. And you'll see that we get a little welcome modal here that says, hey, this is your guild dashboard. Here you can view some messages about your company feed, who's on their shift, and then it also lets you know that you can send this URL out to your employees so they can register for an account as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just copy this link and then click on Awesome Let's Go. And here we are at our Guild dashboard. And I'm gonna go over some of this here shortly, but first I wanna show you the navigation over here on the left. So we have the home that we're at, then we can go to My Shift, and this is where you can view some stats about your shift. You can also view some logs about every time that you start shift and then stop your shift. And then we have some tasks here and these tasks, they can be created by anyone and then they can be assigned to anyone on the team. And then we have badges and this is pretty cool because you can assign badges for certain things like completing five tasks and then they get this badge or maybe finishing 30 hours of your shift and they get this other badge. So it's kind of a cool way to award your employees or your guild for accomplishing certain things. And then lastly, we have the news right here. And this, you can actually update just kind of like some text about some new things that's happening uh, in the company, and then it will show up over here on the right. So then we also have our user section down here at the bottom that we can go here to our guild settings. Uh, we can create a new guild if we wanted to. We have API tokens, and this is all kind of part of Jetstream, uh, but we've modified it to make it fit with our application. So I'm going to go here to my profile, and you can see here that I can upload my own photo. We can change our name, update our email, then we have update password, two-factor authentication, and we can delete our account. And again, this is just part of a Laravel Jetstream, this profile functionality. So if we go back here to the home page, we can go here to add some information to our company feed. So I can just say, hey everyone, happy Monday morning and then I can post that and that will show up under the company feed. So you can think of it kind of like a social network for uh, your business. It just has a feed and there is no different channels or no groups. It's basically just a one company feed where anybody can post a message and everyone can see it. So let's go ahead and create a new user account. 
So I have that link that I copied. I'm going to open up a new incognito window and then paste that in. And then here I'm going to say that my name is Freddie Jones. And we'll enter in our password and we'll register for an account. And now we can see that we have our guild members here. We have Freddie and John. And now I can go ahead and say that I want to start my shift. So I come in and I'm ready to get some things done. So I can click here to start my shift. And you can see that it updates over here. And if we were to go back over to this dashboard, you can see that it essentially updates live. So as John Doe, I could say that I want to start my shift as well. And it updates here. And if I go back over here, I can see that John Doe is on his shift as well. And then I can reply back to John and say, Hey John, how was your weekend? And then if I wait a few seconds, I will see that that message will pop up here. I think I set the delay for like 10 seconds and then it updates the feed. And you can obviously configure this uh, if you were to go into the application and make some modifications. So now John can then respond and say, it was pretty bitchin' man. John sounds like a cool guy. So then we come over here and we wait a few seconds. And now we see John's message right there. So again, I can stop my shift. And then over here, we can see that Freddy is now off of his shift. And I could also come over here as the manager. I can update the company news. And you can see that since Freddy is not a manager, he does not have the news menu item over here. So let's go ahead and just add some company news. And I can click on save. And I get a message that uh, we've successfully updated the company. If I go back over here, you can see now in the company news that we have that message. And it's just kind of a nice way for uh, anytime the manager wants to send a message or post something, uh, everybody can see the message right up here. So then we also have tasks. So I could go over here to tasks and I can say that I want to add a new task. I can also select an emoji if I wanted. And now you can see that we have our task right here and I can set that in progress and I could also assign that to myself. But let's go back over here to Freddy's account and say that he wants to start the shift and he's gonna go over here to tasks and he sees that there is this one unassigned task and he's going to assign that to himself. And if he goes back over here to the dashboard, you can see that he's currently working on that task. And we go back to our dashboard and John can see that Freddie is working on that task as well. So that's kind of just the basics of the project. Uh, it was obviously a hackathon, so we just started this project and kind of just built in a few features. And uh, me and Bobby were just kind of having some fun uh, going back and forth and uh, adding new things as we went along. Uh, but it is a fully functional app that you can uh, install and then you can use at your company. You can see who's on shift, who's not on shift. Uh, you can create some tasks, you can have a company feed, and then uh, you can also have some company news here on the dashboard. And it's kind of just a simple way of keeping your company in the loop uh, or keeping your guild in the loop and uh, just kind of seeing who's on shift and who's not on shift. So uh, that's it for the video. I kind of just wanted to show you how this whole thing worked. Uh, be sure to check out the repo. I will post it below the video and I hope y'all have a good one.